Hola, it's your wine over in Ali, and welcome to another edition of Sommelier. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me on my wine journey. And if you are so inclined, hit that subscribe button below and become a, a regular wino. If you're a regular wino, you know what time it is. Let's uncork. It's juicy, juicy. Pretty, pretty. It's all subjective. Let's get to the tasting. This week, I'll be reviewing the 2018 JNSQ Sauvignon Blanc. As you can see, there is no cork. It's just a little stopper. So I'm just gonna pull that out and voila! we have wine it's really pretty reminiscent of a perfume bottle jnsq is a new wine company and this sauvignon blanc is from paso robles which is central california it's a nice pretty straw color oh i can smell it already like coming in <laughs> Coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. <laughs> I can't even talk because I'm ready to drink. Like, really, like, I can't speak because I'm ready to drink. Let's smell them. I smell lemon, like a melon, maybe some pear. Sauvignon Blanc is an indigenous grape of France. So it's been around for a very, very long time. You will see Sauvignon Blancs listed as Sancerres, which is from Loire Valley in France, or Fumé Blanc, Poulet Fumé. Also, Sauvignon Blanc is one of the main grapes in Sauterne, which is a dessert wine. Sauvignon Blancs are very susceptible to rot, so the ideal climate for this particular grape is sunshine. As you can see I have some schnitch over here. I have uh, some pineapple, goat cheese, and jalapeno peppers. This Sauvignon Blanc comes from a warmer climate so there should be more tropical notes like pineapple. Let's give it a taste. Mmm. I taste like lemon peel. It's a little limey too. Juicy, juicy. It's not crazy, but it's nice. Nice uh, shit to taste. I'm gonna taste a little pineapple. I actually can taste a little pineapple on the back there. Oh, that's nice. The tartness of the pineapple, it actually brings out the sweetness of the wine. Mm, I like. Let's have a little jalapeno. Little jalapeno. Yes, it's very little because I'm not trying to do that right now. You know, I think I'm going to do this more often. Have little accoutrements, put them on the side and maybe taste them, smell them. I don't know why I never thought of it before. Ooh, yes. Mm. I really taste green pepper now. But you know, I'm gonna taste what I'm gonna taste, you're gonna taste what you're gonna taste. Inside every collectible bottle, you'll find an, an attitude, style, and a certain je ne sais quoi. And that is what the JNSQ stands for, is je ne sais quoi. That is hard to find and impossible to resist. Kind of like you. So this is supposed to be marketed to millennial women who enjoy luxury, who enjoy craftsmanship, who have like a discerning taste, discerning palate, and that's not my word, that's their word. I'm not a millennial, but I like it, it's good. The bottle, like I said, is reminiscent of a, um, a perfume bottle. And it's meant to be like a keepsake. I saw a picture on their website where they had candles in it. You could use it as a decanter. You could use it as a perfume bottle. A lot of perfume. But yeah, you could do a lots of little things with it. It's really cute. This is like a little grape up on top. They make a Sauvignon Blanc and they make a um, 
rosé. The rosé has like a little flower on the top. They also started making half bottles of the rosé. It actually reminds me a lot of um, Remy Cognac Louis because it comes in that Baccarat crystal. The half bottle of the, I always just want to say je ne sais quoi because that rolls off the tongue so much easier. The half bottle of the JNSQ only comes in rosé. Another great thing is they take grapes from all different vineyards in Central California. Um, so they don't have their own vineyard. This particular company, they went from conception to marketing in less than a year. Now that's pretty like unheard of. Like it usually takes a minimum of three years for people to, to go from conception to marketing and voila, here you go. It would go great with cheese, charcuterie, broiled, grilled fish. I think this would be really good with, I think it would be really good with like fried fish to be like a whole fried fish. But. So I decided to rate the wines. Let you know how I feel about them on a scale of one to five quarks. One being turnt, not good. Ugh, save your money and five being oh my god delicious let me pour a little bit more and then i'll tell you why i rate this wine i give this wine three quarks the reason why i give it three quarks as i said this wine retails for $28. It's a good wine. Do I think the actual wine itself is worth $28, $30? Mm, you pushing it? It's $30 because they give you this bottle. It's a nice keepsake. I get that. But like how many keepsakes can you have? Like you're gonna have all over keepsakes all over the house like how many can you have it's a great gift wine it's not crazy expensive it's not gonna break your back it's something that people can keep after you are no longer with them <laughs> Sound awful, but you know what I mean. Like, you know, you're not there anymore. So have somebody look at it and you know, remember that night that they spent with you. And it is a delicious wine. I think I will try the rose just because I think I want the little bottle with the rose because it's super cute. I, I wouldn't buy this wine over and over and over again. You know, it, it will not be in my rotation, it will not be in the repertoire because I'm not paying. I'm not paying $30 for this wine. Which leads me to my sommelier tip of the week. So the reason why I was able to bring this wine for a review, it was at Costco for $10. Say what, say what? Yes, say what, say what? $10 at Costco, that's how much it costs. Like my local wine shop, they call it like Insider's Advantage. Good on their email list. They tell you about any new wines that they have coming out, special sale wines, things like that. That's how I branch out, you know? Like I'm on this wine journey. I wanna learn about new wines, wines that I haven't tasted before. And you know, just taste, you know, different things. And that is my sommelier tip of the week. Thank you so much for joining me for another edition of Sommelier. Drink wine, enjoy wine, love wine. Until I see you next Sunday for Sippin' Sundays with Sommelier. Keep sipping, y'all. Have a great week. Mm. Yummy. But no.